right, it is day three at this beautiful resort and unfortunately it's the day we have to leave. Oh, it's so sad to leave. Honestly, this place is heaven on earth. sad to be leaving. I'm so jealous of these guys. I know. They just got their fresh coconuts and their buggy driving all the way to their room. <laughs> Should we just go pop up in their closets and their villas? Surprise! <laughs> Look at how big it is. Look at that. She could fit in that. <laughs> it's my handbag. It's like in um, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. <gasps> Your bag is bigger. I wish I had some Fantastic Beasts in here. We need to watch that I've got so a fantastic bad. beast in here. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh look, we're late and there goes our boat. Oh, I just want to jump in the water. Babe, I just watched him put our, there's our suitcases on there. Yeah, they're not leaving, babe. Well, it, it pretty much looks like he's leaving. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, that's our suitcases on that boat. He's, he's gone. Babe, what have you done? This is Kane Vato planning. <laughs> I'm not even joking, I've never actually seen my suitcases go off on a speedboat in a random direction. <laughs> but that is actually our suitcases. We might have to get another boat. Crisis averted, they've got a second boat. It is so hard to say goodbye to this place, but we've got to go. Thanks, Mali Fushi. back at the main airport we've got our bags again and I think we now have to get on another plane but I'm not sure if it's a big plane or a sea plane to get to the next hotel either way I think we've spent more time on planes than we have on land <laughs> in this trip so far I really love these small airports because every step of the way there's a staff member from the hotel you're staying at walking you to the gate or <laughs> to the pickup point or to the plane or anything it makes life so easy I think that's only with you. I think the story's gone around how you're just prone to getting lost. So they're just escorting us wherever we have to go. <laughs> Keep the idiot under control. <laughs> So we've arrived at Six Senses and they assign you a gem. What does gem stand for? Guest Experience Maker. Guest Experience Maker. <laughs> and this is our Sato. <laughs> we have 42 flavors of ice cream here. If you need me, I'll just be somewhere here. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't worry about eating all the ice cream. We have a very nice fitness center. Oh, good. <laughs> I need it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. We can lie on those hammocks. <laughs> Maybe not right now. <laughs> Maybe when it's not raining. Maybe like a little bit later. <laughs> this is the chocolate room. Oh wow. Oh wow, they look amazing. Can I get over this yet? Time for one of Pia's totally awesome room tours. Oh, 
Oh, that was unexpected. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, I'm good. Right, show us around. Okay, so this is, we're staying here for five days. This place is unlike anything I've ever seen before. So, should we start here with the sinks? I think the sinks are the most amazing things I've ever seen. Aren't they so cool? They're like suitcases, like Indiana Jones style. <laughs> They're so awesome. And then you come through here, and I don't know why I really want to show you this, but you'll see in a second. You can go to the loo and check out some fish. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and it's so clear, you can see the ocean floor through there. And then you come around here, and we've got beautiful bed, and these things come down, which is so stunningly romantic. Oh, and it feels like it's gonna be really, really comfy. Then you come out this way, and these doors are just open. It's super hot. I know it's kind of rainy and stuff, but it's still really warm. And this is my workstation. <laughs> Here's where I'll be doing my emails. And then this is where I plan on getting a really good tan and lunch, breakfast, cocktails, whatever we fancy happens there. Then you come down this way and you can just go snorkeling. Whoa! <laughs> I'll jump in there later, not fully clothed. <laughs> and then we've got some hammocks that kind of, oh, I'm a little bit afraid because this one has a patch on it. <laughs> so I don't know what happened there, <laughs> but I'm sure they're fine. And then you come back through here and wait till you see the bathroom. This is the outdoor shower, actually the only shower that they have. And this is the bath. Look at that. It's completely glass. <laughs> How cool is that? And you can just look out onto the ocean while you're having a bath. And this is just next level of this place. Oh, how do you do this? Here we go. You can watch movies in the bath through the TV. Right, then you come around this way. There is another snorkeling entrance to the beautiful ocean. Just look at that water. I just can't get over it. It's honestly like a glass of water. That's how clear it is. And then, if you come up this way, this is like a proper tree house. I really feel like this is a tree house, but on the ocean. You come up here, and there's another day bed with possibly the most amazing view I've ever seen in my life. What do you think? I think it's amazing. And so the really fun thing is, you don't have to walk around here because they've provided us with our very own personalized vehicles in the form of bicycles. <laughs> Check it out, that's mine. <laughs> so what you do is you literally grab your bike and go to wherever you need to go. <laughs> Except Kane and I are too afraid to actually ride on the jetty. <laughs> yeah, no, we walk our we walk our bikes all the way to the beach before we actually ride through the forest. <laughs> We're so afraid we'll go whoop and fall straight into the water there because there's no railings on the side. <laughs> but yeah, pretty epic. Welcome to Waterworld. <laughs> We're